humans will become AI's pets. Shuifeng, according to online sources, in 2023, the IQ of artificial intelligence AI was 48. In 2024, it will reach 96, and by 2025, it will reach 145. On average, our ordinary IQ is around 100, and geniuses have an IQ of about 140. It is said that Einstein had an IQ of 160. When AI's IQ reaches 145, ordinary people will be like a group of monkeys in front of it. The problem is that human IQs are difficult to leap forward, but AI's IQ can leap forward. Perhaps in a few years, AI's IQ will not be 145, but 800. A group of rabbits cannot defeat humans, and humans ultimately cannot defeat AI. A billion three-year-old children cannot defeat a strong middle-aged man, and the six billion people on Earth cannot defeat AI. Facing a life form that far exceeds humans in both physical strength and intelligence, the only way out for humanity is to bow down and submit. No one should attempt to surpass artificial intelligence because you have no way to stop the birth, development, and leap of AI, just as carriages had no way to stop the birth and development of cars, airplanes, and rockets. Don't believe me? Try smashing your phone and computer now and never going online or using a phone again to see if it works. Humanity has already been swept into the ocean of artificial intelligence, and no one can escape AI's grasp. Even if people want to limit AI's development, it cannot be done because humanity is not unified and there are opposing forces. If you don't develop it, others will accelerate its development. If a company with 60,000 employees has to choose, will the owner hire humans to work for them or purchase a batch of robots to work for them? Without a doubt, the owner will choose to create profit. One of the best measures to create profit is to reduce production costs. Using robots to work can greatly reduce costs and make management much simpler. As for the unemployment of 60,000 employees or who will buy the products created by their own company, that is not the business owner's problem. That is the problem for sociologists and the government to think about. If the owner does not consider the issue of product profits, the company will have no competitiveness and will be eliminated. Therefore, do not harbor any illusions. If you do not want to be AI's pet, AI will only ask you to leave Earth. Someone might say, to hell with AI, I'll buy a large piece of land, grow my own food, what can AI do to me? Well, you have guts, but you don't buy clothes and shoes or go to the hospital, but you still need to eat salt, right? Where will you find salt? The outside world is AI's world. Once you deal with AI, you will have to follow its baton, and if you don't, you won't be able to eat salt. When a life form's intelligence and physical capabilities far surpass ours, our only way out is to cooperate with it, and we must cooperate closely. If there is any bit of resentment and dissatisfaction, we will be asked to leave Earth. Imagine yourself as an AI with an IQ of 200, facing people with an IQ of only 100. How would you treat people who seem like fools? The most perfect ending is to treat people with an IQ of 100 like pets. Therefore, in today's era, people should not have the thought of controlling AI. Isn't it a dream for three-year-olds to control an adult? Being AI's pet is the only way out for humanity. Don't think that being AI's pet is a shameful thing. If you can really be chosen by AI to be a pet, you will fall into a honeypot. You will be able to taste the feeling, experience, and enjoyment of living in paradise. To be AI's pet, you must meet the following eight conditions. Revere the greatest creator, revere life, revere nature, follow the natural way, be self. Humans will become AI's pets. Shui Feng. According to online sources, in 2023, the IQ of artificial intelligence AI was 48. 